Midland talks of extreme range with their LXT 600 VP3 two-way radios. Of course, there's an asterisk star right by the extreme range claim. Having that little disclaimer is important because range for FRS radios can be a finicky beast. The company claims that the range on the Midland LXT 600 VP3 is 30 miles. This range assumes a clear line of sight between the two points and ideal environmental conditions. In the real world, these situations are seldom met and you can expect the range to be far lower than advertised. In most cases, the range will be somewhere around a mile, though many might see lower communication distances. The radio works on 22 FRS frequencies and doesn't need a license to operate. Midland adds 14 channels working on various frequencies matched with a digital or analog squelch tone. This takes the total number of channels to 36. The radio also offers a 121 CTCSS privacy codes, allowing more options for private conversations within your group. Midland LXT 600 VP3 also supports NOAA weather scan and alerts. The radio can keep track of the closest, strongest weather channel. This allows it to automatically sound an alert if NOAA issues one for your area. Power comes from a 700 ma NIM battery. It's not very impressive, but the radio is efficient enough with battery use to allow it to last longer. In standby mode, the battery can keep going for 20 hours. In normal usage, the battery can last for 8 to 10 hours. But what can you do if you run out of battery and still need to use the radio? Midland LXT 600 VP3 can also be powered through three AAA batteries. This gives the user additional options and a way to keep the radio running even if you need to charge the battery. For the transceiver, there's a setting to move between high low power. In the high mode, high, the walkie-talkie puts forth more output power with the goal of having a longer range. However, if the person you want to communicate with is physically close, you can shift to low mode. In the low mode, the power switches to the lower output power. Utilizing this mode helps conserve the battery life and and the radio can go on longer without needing a charge. One troubling aspect of the radio is the lack of IP or JIS rating. All of this can affect the longevity of the radio even if used carefully. Midland LXT 600 VP3 often gets compared to its more feature-packed sibling, the Midland GXT 1000 VP4. The latter is a two-way FRS GMRS radio and needs a license from the FCC to transmit on GMRS. In this mode, the transmission power can go to 5 watts, allowing for greater range and coverage, much like the LXT 600 VP3, which can run on AAA batteries, apart from its NIM battery, the GXT1000 VB4 too can work with AA batteries. However, it's more expensive and needs an FCC license to transmit on higher power and GMRS frequencies. To sum up what we like is the attractive price point, the decent sound quality, it can work with NIM or AAA batteries, and it's a simple to use starter radio. On the downside, at 700 ma the battery is pretty basic, and there is no IP or JIS protective ratings. Our ratings for functionality are 8 out of 10, reliability 7 out of 10, value for money 7.5 out of 10, Battery, 7.5 out of 10 for an overall rating of 7.5 out of 10. So what do you think? Is this the best walkie-talkie for you? Check another video where we reviewed the three best long-range two-way radios and see if any of these is a better option for you. Tell us your opinion in the comment section. And don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Have an awesome day.